Good evening, sir. Deal for Zal here, market analysts at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Thursday's end of day's trading session, the 24th of August 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, we're basically uh, looking at the stats for the uh, European session. The FTSE up uh, 24 points, the German DAX up just six, the French CAC actually finished negative in the end. FTSE, MIB, IBEX and stock 600. Now this is prior to Mr. Draghi as well, so bear that in mind. Draghi I think is around 3 p.m. tomorrow, uh, UK time, so if I'm correct, I think we have Yellen around 5 p.m. UK time, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, I actually know Mr. Draghi speaks at Jackson on at 8 p.m. UK time. Let me just double check, that's definitely correct. From what I know, based on my filters, yes, it does certainly does look correct. Okay, so looks good. Okay, so 8 p.m. Uh, UK time and Miss Yellen 3 p. Oh, sorry, 5 p.m. Uh, UK time tomorrow. So watch out for that. Okay, you also have uh, Jackson Hole Symposium. Obviously, more or less, we'll start to get some sort of leaks coming out overnight. I think uh, you have import prices Germany tomorrow, GDP numbers from Germany tomorrow, uh, IFO. Durable goods, make a huge rig count, okay, and obviously it'll be central banks basically uh, centre stage tomorrow. Okay, in terms of today's price action, in terms of today's stats, uh, given obviously given the midday market update, you have um, a UK GDP numbers or overall GDP components certainly coming on the weaker side. Retail sales, consumption, investment, housing, even a concern according to Moody's, okay, and that certainly has kept the U G GBP USD at bay at 1.28 which really has helped the FTSE to a large extent although it did actually give up all the gains towards the end uh, and that was obviously led by the price sell-off in oil and also concerns over obviously growth going forward. Uh, jobless claims uh, from the US uh, certainly came in uh, slightly stronger okay uh, but the home sales number certainly missed and that was certainly a cause of concern and that triggered the sell-off in US equities. Also due to the fact that uh, Mr. Trump's shenanigans, given the fact that he's threatened to uh, shut down the government for his uh, potential uh, Mexican war, okay, or funding for the Mexican war. So that certainly is your status quo, okay. Now, for my my interpretation, the FTSE should, should certainly have been negative. That wasn't the case. I actually got stopped out one of my trades, okay. Uh, now the FTSE 100 hit a uh, pivot high. We had a topping till towards the end, but hit a pivot high of 7.437 before it actually reversed and reversed quite sharply as well going into the close. Now, uh, you can see here, certainly selling off, closing down at 7.407 on the 60 minute chart, certainly has uh, held that resistance at 7.440. Uh, next potential support, if you continue to fall, 7.395, and then you have support at 73.65. So watch out for 73.65 support on the way down. Okay, that's if obviously the uh, GBP USD starts to uh, rise. So, and also uh, oil prices as well, if they start to fall, them two are the main variables that are influencing the actual FTSE 100 itself as well. So keep an eye on the FTSE uh, itself. Now the 10 minute chart at that present, you can see we certainly flushed high. This key diagonal trend line the market was certainly respecting that until it broke above. And then it certainly has pushed lower now. We actually closed down at 7407. Now there is support at 7405, bear that in mind. Okay, so you have support at 7405. You have a double top if your market does retrace, but that's 7436. So watch out for 7436. Okay, uh, and we'll see whether or not the market starts to then obviously move lower. We have a gap fill at 7380 on the FTSE if you are targeting downside moves. Support at 7395 and then support at 7390. And then ultimately, you have support down here at uh, 7365. Okay, on the FTSE itself. Okay, now in terms of the German DAX, let's move to the German DAX now. German DAX certainly is putting in a potential double top on the 60 minute chart. Uh, again, finding resistance here on this key diagonal trend line. You do have the unfilled gap below at 12.065. Now, obviously, that will close if the euro appreciates quite considerably. So keep an eye on the euro and obviously Mr. Draghi's comments. If Mr. Draghi is hawkish, that will send equities screaming lower. If Mr. Draghi is dovish, that will send equities higher. Now, bear in mind on the German DAX, there is a inverted head and shoulders formation. Okay, so let's see what Mr. Draghi has to say. Okay, so you want this right shoulder, then obviously you rip higher. Uh, if you look at the actual uh, neckline at 12,300 down to uh, the head at 11,950, shall we just make it easy for ourselves? Okay, you're looking at a 350 point rally on the upside. Okay, so if you look for a 350 point rally, you're looking around 12,700, you have an unfilled gap above. 
at 12,760. You have a gap here at uh, 12,600 as well. So tomorrow could be quite a uh, significant move in equity markets. So just bear, be wary of that. If Mr. Draghi obviously is hawkish. Then you are looking at this gap closing here and then all these supports being tested. Gap here at 12,015 and then potential double bottom support. So we either move 100, 200 points either side. Okay, so let Mr. Draghi decide. Also Miss Yellen as well. Miss Yellen obviously is hawkish. That will send the euro in and of it, down in and of itself regardless okay so she's up first okay it'll be interesting to see what she has to say if she's hawkish dollar spikes euro usd falls causing the rest of the pairs to fall and that certainly helps european equities to a large extent now if mr draghi is, is dovish as well then obviously you know exactly what's going to happen i mean that 300 point rally certainly seems very plausible okay uh, right, uh, in terms of the French CAC, let's just move on to the French CAC now. Uh, French CAC really trading sideways, okay, if anything, just trading sideways, consolidating here. Okay, it hasn't made a lower low, okay, so again, this is another a candidate uh, uh, for a potential rally. Uh, daily chart here as well, looking to potentially break out this bearish channel, okay, on the back of a dovish draggy. So bear that in mind, okay, your 10 minute chart certainly capped for the day. You can see here, key resistance here and resistance here. Market sold off quite substantially again, jitters prior to Draghi. You have the unfilled gap below as well at 5090, so obviously be aware of that. If any, any signs of hawkishness, or if Miss Yellen is dovish, causing the dollar to fall in and of itself, of course, the euro USD to a rally. Okay, so again, watch out for that. I mean, it could be you now, it could be a, a situation where Yellen is dovish and Draghi is hawkish. So. Uh, again, watch out for that potential scenario, okay, and that certainly will cause a lot of volatility. Okay, now in terms of Euro stocks, let's just quickly bring up Euro stocks here. Euro stocks, as you can see here, pushing higher and reversing sharply. You do have the unfilled gap below at 3,440, looking to potentially close that, and then another gap below at 3,420. And again, we're at the mercy of Mr. Draghi. So let's see what Mr. Draghi has to say. Okay, now uh, from my perspective, this certainly looks like it wants to push higher the way this chart, this potential pattern is okay the psychology of the pattern okay you haven't made a lower low now looking to potentially push higher back up to 3530 3550 etc okay again the market will decide that's basically what we're relying on okay the market will decide the market will dictate which direction this market ends on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs okay and certainly visit trade singler for the latest app goodbye now